morning guys so we're in Ibado. sorry i'm looking this way i was actually ill i had malaria so i'm still recovering but yeah i'll take you around i will stay here and then see what we'll get along yeah so the first stop was at the salon i really needed this hair wash especially after being sick and all so yeah it just feels really good and she did a good job So this is what the salon actually looks like. It's a unisex salon and they also do man manis, pedis and even massage chairs. So it wasn't bad actually and the experience was quite good I would say. So I wanted to do a ponytail and yeah I have natural hair. So it takes a bit more patience in terms of like blow drying the hair without being too harsh in the process of blow drying. And she did well. She first air dried or towel dried the hair. She took her time, went into it. And after doing everything, I went into the dryer, which I absolutely hate, but yeah, it was necessary. On the next day, we're heading out, we're going for lunch, and yes, my husband is making noise in the background. I will not remove it, just to taunt him. in Golden Chilip which is a hotel in Badom and I was in the mood for Chinese they have a lot of restaurants in here actually it's like a group of I think five or six restaurants and they serve different type of food they are represented by like, the different continents and like yeah so you'd have the African food Chinese food so the Asian continent then you have an um, American food it's not really American food I think more of a fast food which represents the American continent and so on and so forth so yeah let's see what it actually feels like walking in it is actually a really nice place the establishments they look quite clean everywhere just looks cute and nice so we went into the chinese restaurant first and just looking around like i said looks quite nice like what i would expect a little chinese restaurant to look like nothing bad nothing so out there like the decor was basic but not bad at all. I like the tables, especially with like the warm plate in the middle. So we decided to see. We did to change our mind and had to go upstairs to eat just because uh, my husband wasn't really into eat Chinese food and they would only serve like Chinese down there but like in the upstairs restaurant you can order from any of the different restaurants and they'll serve up there so that's where we're heading to. It's 
outside covered. Because how would we sit and eat? So yeah, we had to sit and wait again. When I saw this person's food, I was now convinced that okay, I may like it. Then I went outside to have a look at like what the view is. Just because it was a rainy day, we couldn't sit outside, but this would have been the most ideal place to sit down. You get a view on every other thing downstairs, in terms of the hotel, the other restaurants, all seven points. And yeah, this is just what it looks like. I think it's quite beautiful. I like the place and yeah, I'll definitely come back here to have many drinks and sit out. So after we ordered our food, I decided to just take a tour of the place and yeah, so let's just go around and see what everywhere looks like. And we stopped to take a couple of pictures, which we absolutely love. Like I said, this place is really beautiful. Then we signaled our food was ready, went back upstairs. Look at this plate of pasta. Look at my own food. Oh my God, it was so good. Following day, we're heading to Polo Club. Yeah, just one afternoon with the family. So yeah, I'll take you guys. Have I really been so crazy too? To think your love was mine. Serenading to sinking moon. Being so blind as our love was slowly turning blue, my blood grew red. No, I can't believe that thing is true. Believe that thing you said. One thing I absolutely love about Ibadan is that, yeah, the weather is nice. You can actually sit outside, enjoy the morning breeze. And yeah, Ira loves it as well. So this morning, we're going to have corn. And yeah, this is just the prepping of the corn outside. Hi guys, so we're back from the wedding and this is next morning. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what the party packs look like. When you see some big bags like this, you know that it's about to be late. We actually had two. <coughs> That's quite heavy. So there are like two bags we got. And yeah, it literally says conjugal bliss forever. Oluwakemi and Barnabas. It was a great wedding, like you saw in the videos. And yeah, so let us see what we have in here. Yeah, we also call them souvenirs locally. So yeah, in this first bag, the first thing we see is a pair of kitchen scissors. This is always handy, especially for ladies. Then we have an umbrella. 
a small umbrella and it's raining season currently so this is definitely handy also ah okay gary <laughs> this gary here in case you're hungry when you get home yeah then this is interesting an electronic lunch box i don't know if it's focusing yeah we'll open it actually we started opening it so let's just sit together so this is supposed to keep like your meals warm it says electronic but you can plug it it has a lamp okay where do you plug it nice maker okay i guess it's from here yeah that's where you would plug it to charge it and yeah it has a cable in there a spoon and then compartmentalized you can keep some stuff here and so that's good, that's good and the last thing here is soap antibacterial soap what you would use to wash clothes and stuff so yeah that's first bag empty now the second bag this one has i think this is a sieve a draining sieve yeah you can use it to wash rice and a lot of other things and it comes with a bath as well yes i am then they have sandals it's like bedroom sandals you can use it to shower or just go out around not out in you shall get it they also have towels like kitchen towels they always give this type of stuff in almost every nigerian wedding just some kitchen towels also the spaghetti and then this spaghetti from mark and spencer so we're definitely taking this this is a good one then sunlight detergent yeah to wash clothes and then last a pen <laughs> yeah so i would say that yeah. the souvenirs were actually quite they're quite nice i think um most of them are like the typical stuff you would get in most souvenir bags in a party we thoroughly had a great time which i'm sure you've seen in the video and at this point i'll be ending this video thank you so much for watching guys please remember to like comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye